y'all, Rusty RV TV. Welcome. Gonna do a mini road trip. Gotta go up to Walmart and Parker. The winds are still screaming. Okay, we're heading up central here. Also, the van build. It's starting in a week. I think November 8th. Be sure to check out Jamie's uh, channel, Engematic Nomadic. He's posting all kinds of stuff. He's going to use my last year's video of the road, Shea Road. Matter of fact, on the way up here, I'll stop and show you guys where Shea Road is actually at. Also, look at this sign here over here. It says Parker 35 miles and Lake Havasu 70. You know, and you know, up in Havasu, there is a lot to do. In the month of November, I'm going to be exploring some of that as well. Because around Quartzsite, there just ain't much going yet. I mean, if you're bored, go to the Tyson Wells game store and get a board game. <laughs> go see my buddy Kim Scott and Barb there at the Tyson Wells game store but uh, there's really not until mainly January that's when the shows start you can do the seasonal markets you know some of the vendors set up seasonally but you know, as for actual events there's a few around but uh, definitely up around Havasu every single weekend Havasu, Parker and it's along the Colorado River. And why not? You're already here. Check it out. I'm going to. We're going to explore it a little bit. Okay, we're heading out of town. Heading north. Going up towards Parker. You see more and more RVs coming into town, too. A lot of them head down to Yuma. They'll use Quartzite for a pit stop. go be up here in a little bit look how clear blue the sky is with the winds and you can see the dust on the horizon from all the winds too when we get up here to Shea Road I will attempt to fly the drone I doubt if I can <laughs> we'll try it I don't know. Have to wait and see. Okay, this is the intersection. Traffic light out in the middle of the desert. It's uh, Highway 72 and 95. To the right, you would go down into uh, Bouse. And it would take you all the way down to I-10. And to the left here, we'll be heading into Parker. Heavily traveled road. Heavily, heavily. They really need the light here. There's still some few wrecks now and then. Okay, away we go. Boy, look at all that wide load. That was a huge... I don't know what it was. You see quite a bit of that. They, uh on this highway where they uh, haul extremely large heavy loads okay we're getting closer to Parker not too much farther need to go to Walmart matter of fact I'll do a drive through town I'll show you because of the van build we'll do a quick drive through town might as well when we get up here look how off to the left now you can start seeing the greenery because that's all irrigation from uh, Colorado River it's a huge ag area all the way from Parker all the way down to Blythe actually and beyond Blythe 
all of this is part of the Colorado River Indian Tribe crit the reservation here that covers a massive area along the river. Okay, check it out. We're almost up to Shea Road. This is the road that you'll take to go back into the van build. I'm not going to drive all the way back today. It's just too windy. Can't fly the drone back in there. See these billboards? See this left turn lane. Now we're coming in from Quartzsite. This is Shea Road. Van build time. There's a massive BLM area. A few miles out. Okay, make a right. This road is nasty. I mean, very, very bad. Big old potholes in it everywhere. Okay, let me pull off to the side here. I'm going to try to launch a drone real quick. We'll see if we can't get away with something. Get it up in the air a little bit. I'll be back. Up we go, and it is blowing. Look at the... I'm already getting warnings <laughs> on the controller. I'm just going to give you a real quick shot. Okay. There's the main highway. This is Shea Road. Right there is Parker. You can see how close you are to Parker. We're just about a mile out of town. If that. This is the way we came in. That's looking back towards Quartzsite. i got to hurry here. See those two tanks? That's Shea Road. There's a big P up there on that mountain. Look at the condition of that road here. It's horrid. Drive off on the dirt if you can. Alright, I got land. This is too much. A quick look. That drone did not like it up there. I was getting wind warnings on the controller. High wind, land, land. <laughs> But look at this road, it's this horde. Now it gets better once you get up past these railroad tracks. I'm not going to go all the way out right now. But be very careful when you pull in here. Why they don't fix this, I don't know. They claim money, but they could at least come in and fill these things with some dirt. And there's no other good way up here. Let's go across the railroad tracks. Now these are a little rough. Just be careful. What happened to me last year was in that cargo trailer. Everything got pitched side to side because their trailer rocked so hard. Look at that deep one right there on the left. Okay, I'm not going to go much farther. I'm going to turn around to the left would be the DMV. That road just is bad. But when you go straight up here, that takes you straight out to the van build, and the road gets much, much better. Turns into a county road out farther. All right, I'm going to get turned around. We're going to head to in town. Hey, back to real road. Man, that's tough in there. There's no way around it, though. Okay, that's Shea Road. That's where the van belt's gonna be. Mr. Jamie, Ingematic Nomadic. Should be a good event. I've gotten a lot of comments recently about that. Okay, let's make a, I'll, what I'll do is, uh, I'm heading to Walmart, I'll cut through downtown, I'll show you where some of the things are around Parker here. Okay, on the left is Running Man Fuel, they got one on each end of town, uh, another one out by Walmart, Cheap Fuel, actually they're almost 30 cents 
cheaper than quartzite for a gallon. Isn't that something? Be your closest stop for like fuel, ice, that kind of thing for the van build. Okay, on this end of town, there's a uh, not a whole, there's a car there, there's a restaurant there on the left. Train stations out this way, motel. Okay, right up here on the left will be the Circle K, right there. Now just on the other side of that Circle K is the post office if you need it. Let's cut down here, I think it's Joshua Street. I don't know the streets very well here, the names. Anyway, it's first right. This is considered downtown. There's a copper stopper. Now, right up here on the left will be Ace Hardware. And they got everything. If you're at the van build and need parts or supplies, Parker does not have Home Depots or anything like that. So this Ace Hardware, they got lumber there, they got plumbing. They pretty much got everything. It's a little pricey though, so if you can, if you need too much stuff, I would say go up to have a suit or like Lowe's or Home Depot. Okay, this is downtown. They got little shops. Get a haircut. There's Parker Ford. Tiny little Ford dealer. Look at the tree. Look at the wind whipping there. Okay, right up here to the left. If you need banking, there's Wells Fargo. There's a couple other banks in town. There's a glass place right there on the right. If you need glass during your van build. Okay, we're going to cut down one block. Now here's the big auto zone. On the left there is a grocery store. A small one. There's auto zone if you need parts. Now they got a lot of 12 volt stuff in there. I've bought in there before. Switches and stuff so forth. If you're working on solar and need a small 12 volt something, chances are you'll get it there. There's also a Napa in town. Okay, Family Dollar right there if you want dollar store. Get any type of supplies. Okay, we'll make it right here. We're gonna get back on Riverside. And we're just going to go right up here, main intersection. Now, we're going to continue on straight and head on out towards Walmart. I'll point out a couple of other places that might be good for you for the van build. Okay, main drag. Got Pizza Hut. You want a pizza? <laughs> Look how they have two Chevron gas stations at the same corner. Both owned by the same company. Okay, now, as soon as you cross the railroad tracks here, you're going to see a Burger King off to the right. Right up here. Right past the Burger King on the right is the where you can get FedEx and UPS. It's a little mail store. Then on the left here, this orangish looking building, that's Colorado Indian uh, River Supply Hardware Store. There's gas stations in there. Right past Domino's, right there is Riley's uh, Auto Parts. And then here on the left is a RV Supply House. And they got a lot of stuff. They got a lot of solar. They got a lot of a lot of things you need for RV. They are pricey though. If you can get it through Amazon, do it. And that's it. I mean, now we're heading out. Past Town Park there on the left. 
Bills, that's a little, like a clothing store. You can see it, here's Walmart on the left, and you got a big Safeway on the right. You got all the Yuck Donald's, uh, Grease Burgers, you got what, Taco Bell, Yuck, and uh, got Subway in there. Now there is a pharmacy in there on the right, and Walmart also has pharmacy. So pretty much, Parker, I mean, you can get pretty much anything here. It is a little pricey. Also on their sales tax, if uh, the reservation puts uh, another tax on, so you, you pay a little more in sales tax than Parker do. Check your receipt when you shop at Walmart. Okay, well, I need to get a, just a few things, not much. Head back to Quartzite. I am definitely going to head up to Havasu. See what else we can get into up there. There's quite a few events, November and December. Blue Water Casino right here in Parker has stuff going. Blythe does too. There's quite a bit to do around here, even though Quartzite's kind of slow right now. Alrighty, get parked. Shop till I drop. Talk soon!